It's TV dinner time. Kick your shoes off. Get comfy. Uh, today we're finishing up The Sympathizer, episodes five, six, and seven. Previous two episodes were episodes one and two of Sympathizer season one. Uh, the second episode was uh, three and four. And yeah, this one is five, six, and seven. It was a lot to watch. Uh, I enjoyed the last three, even though it was a lot to watch. Hopefully Jason did, but we'll get into it. I think so. Like, I guess one of the biggest questions I ask you, I can ask you, is that was this how you thought it was going to end? <laughs> Somewhat. Like, I think we both assumed we would get the backstory of why he was imprisoned or why he was captured or how he was yeah. captured. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'm happy we got that. I didn't know if it was going to be a happy ending or not, though. Like, leading into Me too. It. I was shocked that it was a happy ending. I was not going to think it was going to be a happy ending at all but it it sort of it pretty much was (laughs) yeah which yeah i did i wasn't expecting i like how it played out though like there was so much darkness leading up to the the last episode so to have that happy ending was kind of like oh okay you didn't have the worst life yeah and and like the last episode really hits hits you pretty hard too there's a lot Mm -hmm. that's like like it almost kind of like wants to dump all this emotion on you because like yes. you're it, which kind of like it kind of makes sense because like you're you're learning the secret with him because he's now remembering what's going on yeah because of the torture that he's going through basically which kind of sucks <laughs> but you're also right learning that as an audience and you're like holy crap and and so it was it was very shocking and and not not what I was like believing Yeah, nothing could prepare you for that. Like, watching this show, you know there was some trauma and some shit that he went through and all the characters went through, but to have it explained and have it to, like, go through it and watch it is kind of like, damn, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. To be honest, like, when I was watching uh, episode five, like... Mm -hmm. Episode five is like when like they're trying to pay him off for like being blown up. They're trying to give him like three thousand dollars. <laughs> no, literally so, no money at all. Yeah, yeah. And but I was thinking in my head, I was like, what if this guy was like brainwashed by the CIA when he came over to America to study? Mm-hmm. And that's why Robert De Niro's like or Robert uh Robert Downey Jr.'s, I keep wanting to call him Robert De Niro. Uh, yeah, Robert Downey Jr.'s character in the CIA was like following him the whole time. We're like, yeah. it just kind of keeping tabs on him just to like keep putting the brainwashing, like, like re reintroducing the brainwashing that yeah. I thought like his buddies were fake. Like he was just imagining all that stuff because <laughs> like he's imagining those people that he killed back with them and stuff and like following mm-hmm. them around. So I was like, man, they they got this guy like thinking he's like a double agent, but like Robert Downey Jr.'s character is like playing him like super hard since the beginning, but it sort of wasn't. I it sort of uh, halfway. <laughs> yeah, I still like. We talked about it last time. The number of characters that Robert Downey Jr. plays kind of throws you off. Like, okay, who am I? Mm-hmm. Who is this? Which character is this? So that was my one gripe like watching the show was like I kind of wish they had other actors in those slots instead of just having Robert Downey Jr. 10 times. Yeah, I I can see that. That gets confusing, Uh, especially when you also have to deal with confusion of like, is this the past tense? Is this like the current Mm -hmm. time? And, And so everything's like, and then like halfway through the episode, like, it's cool because he's like, oh, I forgot to like add this in. So like it rewinds to show like the little empty gap. Yeah. But when you also have that on top of like Robert Downey Jr. playing like 10,000 characters and you're like, who the hell are all these people? It can get very stressful. And like, like you said, like watching three episodes in a few days can be a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Like I'm happy we, we watched it the way we did, but mm-hmm. if I was watching this on my own. I would have been like, okay, I can watch one or two a day and take breaks because it's a lot to get into. I can definitely see like this, this 
episode or this uh, show being better received uh, by like a weekly drop. Yeah. Like it goes off by seven weeks and stuff. And you like you get going with the first one and then you wait a week because then you have time to process what you just watched. (laughs) And I think, yeah, so it's HBO. So that is how it was released. We just decided, oh, let's binge it and record it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. HBO probably did release it like on like it was a week separate basis. weeks, right? Because they do that with Game of Thrones and stuff, and yeah. House and of all Dragons that. and all that. Yeah. So true. So yeah. So I think it, it probably would have been a better bet if if like I think our recommendation together will be if you're watching the show, if you decide to watch the show, watch one episode a week or one episode yeah. every few days, just to kind of like set your mind right and then watch the next one <laughs> yeah. take your time please take your time it's a lot it's a dense show but it is a beautifully shot and written show yeah i think and and i don't know if you noticed when it do, when it goes into the the intro sequence mm-hmm. it says brought to you by hbo and then 20 a24 tv oh did i i don't know if i knew that i, I think i might have so eight yeah, A24, I think that's why that yeah. it has that kind of like flavor of an A24. Yeah, yeah I don't know if I knew that. I, I might have seen that in like when they were releasing trailers and doing promo, but I totally forgot about that. But that yeah, does make and sense. I don't know. Is this like the first time that we've seen a TV show that's like done by A24? Mm-mm. They have uh, Euphoria and they have no? um, Euphoria and The Curse. And there's probably some other ones. Also, like, I guess Euphoria is on, on HBO, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, The Curse is on Showtime. Yeah, yeah Euphoria so... is on HBO. Mm. So I think that's, like, actually it's funny because, like, when you think about that, like, HBO, Showtime, or, like, those, like, channels that you paid extra for back in the day. And, and I think A24, that's a good partnership with, like, HBO because they can kind of do more edgier stuff and more kind of like like subject matter wise and stuff because like this goes into communism this goes into the Vietnam War this goes into torture and stuff and <laughs> and, and there's a lot going on and 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 uh, and then the dude at the end his friend which I totally thought was fake but is like a, a napalm victim and mm-hmm. it's just like just like, oh my god, there's like a lot of things just like going over your head and stuff. But they dumped all that on us. Like everything was like, okay, cool, that's a lot to deal with. And then that came and you're like, what? That too? Like how did all of this happen in the span of time? Made no sense. Yeah, like like when he's introduced, he looks like a Bond villain. I totally thought it was a Bond mm-hmm. villain. Like, you know, like he's walking out with that white mask and everything. Just the one no, eye. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like coughing and he le- he does his like daily lectures on like communism and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but it was kind of nice to see that basically ever since the beginning, it almost like he made a choice to land on his sword that I'm going deep in this communism stuff but i'm trying to send you on a secret mission and i wonder if it was like a mission that even he even cared for right like the, it's it kind of gets a sense that he was just trying to like introduce him to the american culture and maybe he gets lost in the american culture and yeah. stays in america and get away from yeah what's going on in their country yeah yeah it's like a, it's almost like sort of like a heroic way of kind of like all right go get distracted in america and probably you'll forget about mm-hmm. the crap that's happening here, which sucks because like you're trying to have him forget about his like homeland and stuff. But in the end, he saves them. So yeah. So you're like, yeah, oh, it's, I guess so. I'm still I guess that makes up that. for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still tripping on the ending. The fact that that's how it played out. Yeah. And it just basically turns into where it's like you kind of like, and then you assume that they have a happy ending because like recent kind of like news stories have shown that that boat trip from one country to the Americas can be the most dangerous thing that you can do. And a lot of times those things don't 
end very well and stuff. And so, so it's just like, it's a 50, 50 sh- shot, which is good. Like he says, it's a very poignant way to end the, end the show. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, do you think they would try to have some sort of season two to this? I don't know how, like, unless you're like following him, like, like talking to the general, like maybe he gets with the general's daughter and stuff like, which I kind of hope for. I was like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how old she was. Then that, that's, uh, uh, I think she was of legal age. She um, looked like it. Yeah. But like, yeah. So like, you're assuming that they're building like this friend because they have built this friendship mm-hmm. of him being like his, the dad's like next hand man. And then he's like a young kid in America. And then she's also a young kid in America and stuff. And, and then he was just broken up with by Sandra's Sandra O's character, which that was shady, which I was too. like, man, that's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> I was actually pissed about that. Yeah, like I knew I, I kind of got a sense that she was going to like find someone else, but not that dude, the, the yeah. journalist guy that he hates. Of all people in the world, she's like, oh, I'm going to get with this journalist that you just despise. Yeah, right. And then to do sort of that turn that she does where she she understands that he must have killed him, mm-hmm. but he's a nice guy or something or what? I don't know. <laughs> like he must have had a reason to. <laughs> <laughs> there was a reason for your murder, like, but it was botched, like another yeah. botched murder, too. I guess he's just maybe the the coke can just like really like changes up to direct to the, the <laughs> bullet and everything, but uh, but yeah. So now, do you still recommend this to everyone oh, watching yeah, the yeah. end and how it ended? I, yeah, I would still recommend it. Like I think, like we said, watch it uh, episodically. Like don't try to binge watch it like we did. Yeah, and it's 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 funny because like when we first started talking about this show, you're like, oh my, like uh, one of my family members loves like watching like war based stuff. Mm-hmm. It's still war based, but then it goes into like more of the psycho- psychological stuff where like it's just like like war just sucks and stuff, and and like they kind of say it throughout the whole show, it never ends for the people that are in it, and yeah. and so it's like you see the psychological effects of everything. And whether or not you won on one side, uh, there are pretty much always losers on, on all mm-hmm. sides and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so it's like, it, it's like, it, like I can see someone saying like, oh, that's just a war thing. Like, I don't want to watch any war stuff. Like, this is like different. This like, it starts yeah. off like that, but then it's like a kid trying to figure out his way in America, but then wanting to go back home and understanding that he probably shouldn't go back home. And because that's not his home anymore. Yeah. Um, but so it's weird. Yeah, it's deeper. Like you said, it's definitely deeper than just a war show. Like, I think it's kind of pitched as that. Mm-hmm. That's what you see when you watch the trailers. But once you actually watch it, you see that it's a deeper story than what you expect. Yeah, which is like totally A24 and like mm-hmm. HBO, basically. Like, it, it makes sense because it's like, yeah, A24 doesn't do anything unless there's like uh, uh, multiple reasons for or multiple meanings for things, it seems like. Yeah. Or multiple ways to get a nice shot. <laughs> but yeah, so so yeah, let us know if you watched uh, the sympathizer. We watched. We just discussed episodes five, six, and seven. The ending of the sympathizer uh, on HBO uh, Max or whatever streaming service. Uh, let us know if you liked it, disliked it in the comments below. And please like, subscribe to Saturday Night Popcorn for more TV dinners like these.